Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Molecular Makeup. My name is Ashley and I'm a chemist who has a passion for makeup artistry and skin care. And today I'm going to be discussing um, skin and hair supplements and discussing which ones are backed by scientific evidence. So if you've seen Tati's Halo Beauty Pills, you probably are wondering, are they worth the price? And how do they compare to other pro similar products on the market? Are they better than a competitor? So recently, Car Beauty posted a video evaluating Sugar Bear Hair versus the Halo supplements. And in her video, she basically explains why Halo Beauty is so much better and so much more scientifically grounded and all the ingredients are more supported by scientific evidence than Sugar Bear Hair. I would definitely recommend watching her video. It was great, very well put together, and I'll have her video linked below. I just wanted to add a couple of things to what she said about comparing Sugar Bear Hair and Halo Beauty. And I also wanted to compare Halo Beauty to other supplements on the market. So one thing that she discussed in her video was that folic acid in Sugar Bear Hair is an empty ingredient because there are no studies that show a significant um, increase in hair growth with folic acid and that is very true I agree with her statement but what I wanted to add to that is that there can actually be health risks to um, folic acid being in this supplement and here's why so there are two compounds that we need to discuss here folic acid versus folate so these are two different forms of vitamin B with very different impacts on our health so folate is the natural biologically active form of vitamin B and our body can metabolize it well and it is important in cell growth and DNA formation and deficiencies in folate can lead to birth defects and higher risk of cancer. However, folic acid, which is what is in the sugar bear hair supplements, is a synthetic form of vitamin B and our bodies do not metabolize it well and what happens is that a lot of the unmetabolized folic acid ends up in our bloodstream and this is problematic because it actually leads to higher cancer risk and it also um, causes vitamin B12 deficiencies to go undetected. So vitamin B12 deficiencies are indicators of, can be indicators of dementia. So yeah, having this unmetabolized folic acid can cause that to go unnoticed. So in addition to folic acid being an empty ingredient in this supplement in regards to there are no studies to show that it helps with hair growth, it also has potential health risks. So I definitely do not support that folic acid is in this supplement. If anything, I think that it should be folate, but even folate does not have any statistically significant data to support that it helps with hair growth. So I don't really think this has a place here and also it has health risks. So, and Tati's supplement does not, uh, neither one of Tati's supplements has folic acid or folate. So another difference not pointed out in Car Beauty's video is that there is a difference between the vitamin D forms in these supplements. So um, both contain vitamin D3, which is actually more efficient than vitamin D2 because um, it's more efficient at raising the levels of vitamin D in our bloodstream than vitamin D2. So it's great that both of these supplements contain vitamin D3. However, the difference is that Tati's vitamin D3 is actually vegan. Vitamin D3 in the Halo supplements is actually derived from lichen, so it's plant-based and therefore um, inclusive toward vegans. Whereas with Sugar Bear Hair, it's actually a form of vitamin D that's derived from sheep skin oil. So it technically would not be considered vegan. I couldn't find any scientific evidence to support this, but there are claims that um, because it's derived from lichen, a plant-based derived vitamin D that is actually more pure, contains less impurities, has less chance of toxins being present because it's derived from a plant. Now I couldn't find scientific evidence to support that, but I think that's an interesting claim. But what I like about Tati's supplement is that it is inclusive for vegans and um, I'm not personally a vegan myself, but I really appreciate that she uh, has this vitamin D3 
derived from lichen because you know I feel like there aren't very many options for vitamin D3 on the market you know that that um, are vegan friendly um, because it is you know traditionally derived from sheepskin wool so I really appreciate that um, Tati is also very inclusive in that she made it gluten free, soy free, sugar free, vegan, cruelty free. I really think she had everyone in mind and tried to make this as inclusive as possible and I think that is great. Um, and again, definitely watch Cara Beauty's video discussing the benefits of Halo Beauty over Sugar Bear Hair. She did a great job. The main thing I want to elaborate on is that folic acid actually can be a health hazard. So what about other supplements? We've seen now that the Halo Beauty supplements seem to have benefits over Sugar Bear Hair, but what about other um, skin supplements and hair supplements on the market? How does it compare? I looked, I looked at some of the top selling uh, supplements that would be similar to hers, and one that I found was Ollie which is sold at Sephora. There's a glowing skin gummy vitamin. So this Ollie uh, supplement actually contains three ingredients that do have scientific support for um, skin benefits, and that's hyaluronic acid, collagen, and C. buckthorn. Um, so all three of these have been shown to increase moisture in the skin and also have anti-inflammatory effects on the skin. And hyaluronic acid, there are studies that have shown that oral hyaluronic acid um, decreases wrinkles and increases moisture in the skin. However, the issue I have with this is that there's added sugar. Um, sugar is the next ingredient after these three um, main ingredients that have skin benefits. Next is glucose syrup and beet sugar. So, and it also has some other added things like pectin, um, which isn't terrible. So these things aren't terrible, but I just feel like it has unnecessary ingredients added, especially the added sugar. Um, it's also, this would not be, let's see, so this would not be vegan friendly um, if you are vegan and we're wondering because um, it has marine collagen peptides, which they get from fish. Yeah, so I don't think this supplement is terrible, and it is half the price of Halo, um, of Halo, Halo Kiwi, so um, I don't think it's a terrible supplement. I don't think the extra ingredients are terrible, but I just don't think it's great either. Um, I still think Halo Kiwi is better. There are many ingredients. I'll put up a screen here showing you um, that I was able to divide the ingredients in Halo Kiwi in a four main categories for skin benefits and found so many studies, so many articles, every single ingredient that Tati included in this supplement has so much scientific evidence to support skin benefits. So yeah, Tati's has, you can see here the number of ingredients that she has that have all these benefits for the skin, whereas this one has three. Um, so I'm sure you would see some improvement in the skin, but again, I don't like that it has all the added stuff that's unnecessary. Um, so I still personally believe that Tati's Halo Kiwi supplement is better based on the ingredients. And I actually have tried Halo Kiwi myself, and um, at the end of the video I'll talk about that some more, but I do have a video where I reviewed it in detail, and I'll have that linked below if you want to check it out. So the next supplement I wanted to compare it to is Nature's Own. So you can pick this up at the drugstore, and it is um, a lot less expensive. I'll put up the price here. Um, it is a lot less expensive, but... This does contain vitamin A, so in Car Beauty's video, um, she discussed how over-supplementation of vitamin A actually leads to hair loss, and I did find articles supporting that, so um, yeah, and there's no evidence to support that vitamin A increases hair growth, so there's really no reason for it to be in a hair, skin, and nails supplement. So it contains vitamin A. Um, and it contains a biotin and honestly there's not really any statistically significant studies showing that biotin increases hair growth so honestly I don't really think that it would be worth buying this supplement because there's really not a lot of scientific evidence to support um, hair benefits or skin benefits for this supplement then um, for nature's truth 
I'll put up the price for Nature's Truth here. It also contains vitamin A, again, which um, over supplementation can lead to hair loss. Um, it contains folic acid, and as I discussed at the beginning of the video, that can be a health risk because we cannot metabol our um, we cannot metabolize it well, so a buildup ends up in our bloodstream, and that leads to uh, cancer risks and other problems. So. Um, and Nature's Truth also contains soy. So again, I know some people have a um, soy intolerance, so that's another thing, again, that I just really love about Tati's Halo supplements is that they are uh, soy-free for people that have soy intolerance, um, gluten-free for anyone with a gluten intolerance. So I still think that out of all of these, that the Halo supplement wins as far as the ingredients. Now, the next supplement I'd like to discuss, um, which I found very interesting, is called HUM. And this is a completely different approach than Halo Kiwi or any of these other supplements that I've talked about for the skin. So this is um, addressing gut health and the correlation between your gut health and skin health. And there actually are... Um, some really interesting studies, and I'll link an article below with some of those studies um, that actually supports that there is a direct link between our gut health and our skin, uh, and the health of our skin. So, but I feel like this would be like comparing apples to oranges. I wanted to mention it because it, I think it's an interesting supplement. I think that there is scientific evidence to support that it would work, but it, it takes a totally different approach to it. So if you'd like me to make a video going into more detail about that and talking about all of the ingredients in that, I'd be happy to do that. But all of those ingredients are probiotics um, targeting gut health in order to clear the skin. Um, clear the skin. So another thing that I want to discuss in this video is do I think that the price of Halo Kiwi is fair compared to other supplements on the market? So I definitely think it's fair compared to the ones that I listed now because it has so many more ingredients with scientifically um, supported studies that show that there are skin benefits to all these ingredients. Um, again, I'll put the list here that I made based on the studies. Um, of all the um, skin benefits. I think the main reason that Halo Kiwi is more expensive than say like the Ollie supplement at Sephora or like the Nature's Truth supplements at the drugstore is because of ceramides. So I actually watched Tati's video where she answered some questions about Halo when it first came out and she said that the ceramide in her uh, supplement is ceramide PCD. Um, so I just wanted to compare the price of her supplement versus other ceramides. And I was honestly really surprised that other products on the market that are simply only ceramides, none of the other ingredients that Tati has in her supplements that are great for the skin, only the ceramide, and it's the same price or more. So I'll show some examples on the screen now, but it's the same price or more. And these are supplements that are, sorry, these are ceramides that aren't even as good at increasing moisture in the skin, um, having antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. It's not even as good as the PCD ceramide as supported by scientific evidence. I'm really impressed by the price of this supplement because it has the ceramide, um, it has all these other ingredients that are so beneficial for the skin. So in my opinion, I think it's worth it just based on the ingredients, the cost. But I myself actually have tried Halo Kiwi, and I have a video that goes into great detail. If you wanna check it out, I have it linked below. But I was absolutely amazed at the changes in my skin when I took Halo Kiwi. Because I'm a scientist, I'm always thinking about controlling variables. I don't want any external factors to um, affect the outcome of my experiment. So before I started Halo Kiwi, I made sure I controlled for my skincare and my diet. So I kept my skincare constant. I only washed my face and moisturized my face with the same products every morning and night. And I didn't make any changes to my diet because I didn't want any other external factors that I could control for to affect improvements in my skin. Um, and it was incredible. Just within, I feel like within a month is when I really started noticing a difference in my skin. But after three months, 
Um, my skin was so much less red and inflamed and was so much more hydrated. So I'll have some pictures here, but if you want to see an in-depth review of Halo Kiwi, I'll have the video linked below where I talk about all the controlled variables that I did, um, everything I did to prepare for trying this supplement, and a lot of before and after pictures. And I even have before and after pictures under a microscope. So make sure you check out that video. Um, I hope that this was helpful. Again, I truly do think that um, at least Halo Kiwi for me um, works very well for me. I think that it's worth the price based on the ingredients. All the ingredients are backed by scientific evidence that they are uh, good for your skin. They have skin benefits. Um, and yeah, compared to all these other um, supplements that I compared it to, I definitely think it's worth it. Um, now again, the HOM supplement, I can make a video about that if you're interested. Um, it's a completely different approach of um, targeting gut health. Um, if I were going to recommend any other of these supplements that are cheaper if you're on a budget, I would probably go with Ollie because it can it contains three ingredients. It, does, it didn't contain the folic acid, didn't contain the vitamin A, so that's good. Um, but it had three ingredients that sh has scientific support to show the benefits. It does have added sugar, um, but, you know, I still think compared to the other supplements um, that that would be the one. If you're on a budget, I would definitely go with that one. But I personally still think that Halo Kiwi is the best out of all of these based on the ingredients. And it works so great for my skin and improving dryness and inflammation in my skin so i hope this was helpful um, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video and like the video leave a comment letting me know what you thought about the video and if there are any other um, supplements skincare products makeup products that you liked for me to explain the ingredients in thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a great day